It's July 2022 and we are back at Cabana Bay Beach Resort here at Universal Orlando. I love Cabana Bay and I know so many of you do too. So we're doing an updated stay here to see what it's like in July 2022. Got a different kind of room or at least different view than last time. Of course, some of the features here include beautiful theming, a lazy river, walking access to Volcano Bay. You can definitely walk to City Walk and Universal as well. Lots of food, entertainment, just it's just a really fun atmosphere. It's also a great place to stay for Halloween Horror Nights and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's get checked in and check out the room. I got an email and used mobile check-in, so I'm gonna to go to the mobile check-in line. So I immediately popped up to Galaxy Bowl because reservations are required and we definitely wanna do some bowling today. They did say it's wide open right now, we could walk in, but we kinda of wanna like scope out the room maybe go to the pool, do some other stuff before we bowl. Ideally, we would have liked 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., but that is already completely booked out. So they have six or nine, so I went ahead and grabbed nine so we can do some bowling tonight. I haven't bowled here for years. It's really cute, really retro, just like all the theming here. And I'm excited to bowl tonight. In front of the check-in building, they've got these cute retro cars just to kind of like give you the feel as if you're in the 1950s on vacation. I love it. All right, so we are gonna head to the Americana. That's where our room is. Ooh. All right, let me show you around the room that we got. This is a standard room with Volcano Bay view. You can book room types and you can request certain buildings and floors, but it's never guaranteed. So it's kind of just you get what you get and this is what we got. Let me show you. So again, this is a standard room. So here's the room. There are two beds here. Cool retro art, colorful theming, just like the rest of the resort. We've got a dresser over here, a cute little nook by the window with an ice tray. There's coffee here that you can get. And here is the view, pretty cool. We do have kind of like the back of a building here, but no big deal. We've got the Volcano Bay, Volcano. We can see Icon Park over there and the wheel. You can see a lot of Orlando. You can see that cool new Disney building way off in the distance. There's the tower that we were kind of hoping for. We're not in the tower, but that's okay. Right down there is the lazy river and the pool. So it looks like we're really close to those, but all in all, Pretty nice. There are some clouds up there though. We'll keep a watch on them. Sam digging through his bag. <laughs> Here's the bathroom area. It's really cute. I've always found this resort to be very clean. They've got the zest, because you're never fully clean unless you're zestfully clean. Just very simple, minimalist, but like clean and fresh feeling, very beachy. It's a shower and they've got VO5 in there. A little blast from the past. Of course, they've got one of these for hanging up your wet bathing suit if you go over to the Lazy River, the pool, Volcano Bay. And then here is the closet space. It looks like there's an extra pillow and blanket up here, some hangers, a laundry bag, ironing board, a safe, and an iron and a luggage rack. All right, we are going downstairs. Some of the rooms are closer to the lobby, some are further. Ours is a little bit on the further side. We're gonna go down to the first floor again, scope out the pool and food situation. So a cool thing is our room is right next to the Bayliner Diner. That's like the food court area. I love this mural. It's so iconic. Here's the Bayliner Diner. There's like condiments and all this stuff. And then a lot of different kinds of foods you can choose from up in there. They show these cool 1950s reels up here. Now there's different areas where you can grab different kinds of food. Like I said, there's deli, grab and go, frozen yogurt bar, pizza, international eats. That's usually my favorite and hot off the grill. And then there's a lot more, like an, even a little grocery store in here. Oh yeah, and you can get the refillable cup that you can refill throughout your stay, which I think we are going to do. It's a really cute cup. Oh, I'm glad it has a handle. Cool. 
There's also a salad bar up there with a bunch of different pre-made salads and bowls you can choose from. And you can make your own salads too. They have a great universal gift shop here at Cabana Bay too. I always find fun things. Often you can find like whatever lines of merchandise are popular in the parks right now. And besides universal merch, they also have like groceries and toiletries products that you may need. They've got plenty. So if you forgot something or run out of any of these things, just to help you out, they're here. So here in the middle is gonna be where like the Cabana Bay, Volcano Bay stuff is. It's cute, it's a cute long sleeve. We'll get some food later, but for now I'm gonna head outside and see what things look like. The sky is looking partly blue and beautiful and partly gray. So let's see what we can do. They have these really cute outdoor areas with fire pits. Hopefully they'll light it later. You do need your pool key to access the pool area and I am in. There's like a sandy beach part right over here with beach chairs where you can just chill. There's the pool, there's the lazy river. We actually saved our like tubes from last time and they'll refill them for you for free. So I'm gonna take it to go get refilled. And I think everyone's trying to do what I'm trying to do and get some pool time in before the rain hits. So let's just get to it. I guess you do it yourself. Here we go, it's self-service. All right, we are in a race against the weather right now. Thankfully it's warm and nice. Pop this puppy in and go. There we go. Woo! It's nice to uh, get some pool time. There's different ways to chill in your raft. A lot of helicopters going by overhead. Very, very nice. I love the lazy river here. There's a lot of really pretty rock work up here. Very relaxing, it's like a slow pace. Um, you can bring your own tubes or you can purchase them here. We actually purchased these last time and you can refill them. There's like a refilling the air station. Wasn't easy and I did get some help, but got it done. A lot of leaves. Starting to get windy. Really pretty views of the hotel. There's like little waterfalls. Helicopters. They have now closed the pool and the lazy river due to the incoming weather. It's thundering. It's really beautiful out and I definitely feel the sprinkles starting. So I'm really glad that we got some time in before that happened. They do have this to assist people into the pool who need it. There's that thunder. <gasps> Lightning. Oh yeah, let's get out of this area. You can see the volcano, Volcano Bay though. Really pretty. Listen to the thunder. Ooh, that's rumbling. Let's get out of here. They closed up the Lazy River tube shack. I'm gonna take this up. Let's go. Oh, wow. Uh, ooh, it's intimidating thunder. All right, we're in the Americana. Gotta get back over there. It's cool to get a look at the pool, empty of guests. Here's the sandy beach area. And there's the pool over there. Okay, made it back up to the room. Let's get refreshed. This is a pretty great view. I'm hearing like music and chimes and stuff. All right, back up in the room, took a shower, I'm dressed, I'm chilled. It's not like a it looks like it did rain outside a bit, but it's not like pouring, but it is like thundery and rumbly. And I think the pools are gonna stay closed for a while. So I think now I have worked up quite an appetite. I went around and around the lazy river like two or three times. It was so nice. Let's go explore this lovely resort. Ready? Let's go. 
There are a few different places to eat here. Of course, Bayliner Diner is the main dining area. Second floor. But I want to show you something else right now, actually. Remember how I said this is a great resort for staying in during Halloween Horror Nights? Besides the fact that it's really convenient, there are buses, you can actually walk over to the park too. Last year, they did something special where they had exclusive experiences only for Universal Orlando Resort Hotel guests. And over here, they did the Jack the Clown experience and they did a special icons bar downstairs. It was really cool. It was like a more intimate atmosphere and vibe and it was just really fun and different. And I hope they do something like that again this year. This Fun in the Sun Rec Center, they totally transformed it into this Jack the Clown experience. It was so cool. It looks like they're doing something in there right now. Maybe like a training or something. I see a bunch of Harry Potter stuff. I see an owl. Okay, I'll leave them alone. But. Um, it was really neat. But in order to participate in those, you have to be staying at a Universal Orlando Resort, and this is one of the more affordable ones, and just one of the cooler ones, in my opinion. And then right next to that is the Game-O-Rama Arcade, and right next to that is Galaxy Bowl, where we're gonna bowl later. The arcade's super cool, full of games. But first, it's Bayliner Diner time. The pizza line, the Sliss and Good line are really long. The International Eats line is the shortest, but there's still quite a lot of people it's prime dinner time as to be expected a lot of folks getting the daily changing carving special they do that from five to close and it looks really good the chicken looks so good I'm very tempted the carving special today is carved roasted turkey and here are our very tasty looking dinners Sam got this delicious looking salad you made it yourself right yeah so make it make it yourself bar and you just choose whatever you want from the bar there's like tuna chicken and then you they weigh it when you get to the register That's my great. annual pass discount it only costs ten dollars we both got the refillable resort mugs which are ten dollars which to refill per, per day yeah. and then i got the jerk chicken with rice and plantains and a side of the potato casserole and i will say the jerk chicken is delectable tender, soft, juicy, Sam salad, so good. Um, I thought everybody in line was getting the carved dinner, but no, everybody was getting this or the churrasco, and it is so good. The rice is good, the plantains is delicious. I also had to get the potato casserole because people were raving about it. It's really good, it's really cheesy. It's just what you'd picture a cheesy potato casserole to be. Very, very good. But this, this is the ticket. So there is a sink here to wash your mug out when you decide to change beverages. There's hot chocolate, coffee, slushies, uh, fountain soda. Very lively dining area. And yeah, it's, it definitely is a lot of people at prime dinner time. So if you can eat like before or after that, but even if you come during prime dinner time, like we got our food, we ate and we had a lovely time and it did not take that long at all. One thing I like about here is that you don't have to like struggle to find a seat. There's tons of seating. Here's a sign for the nightly poolside movie. So today is Sunday, so it's Gremlins. Love, love, love Gremlins. If you stay here Tuesday to Friday, you can pretty much watch <laughs> four Bowman movies, but they don't have the fifth one. You have to watch Trolls instead. Th that's their, them trolling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look outside? Sam wants to have a, a look about outside. A mooch around. A mooch around. <laughs> Here's a map of the property. You can see the different buildings. We're in the Americana. So we're on this side. There's our pool. There's another pool over here on the other side. Ample parking here. This is a hot tub at six. I've never seen a hot tub here. I think it's closed. Yeah, because I was over there and it was like closed off. Let's check though. Well, I'm a little confused because there's a sign here that says sorry spa closed, but there are a ton of people in the Whirlpool Spa hot tub, whatever you want to call it. So if it's open later, we might hit it up. Down here by the pool, they have the hideaway bar and grill where you can get more food and drinks. So there's more stations for filling your drink. There's different food that you can get down here. We did that last time we were here. And there's a full bar down here too. Now we have a Galaxy Bowl reservation for 9.15, but they said we could come and ask earlier to see if like anyone didn't show up or there were any openings earlier. So we're gonna check. They also do serve some food in here as well. So it's $13.99 per bowler, includes 45 minutes.
All right, we got lane nine. So here we are. I guess I'm first? Yeah, you're first. I put your name first. Why? Just to be nice. Pretty good. Right to the side. Pull your arm back, swing back, and then just swing it down the middle as much as you can. See? Down the middle, the problem is, but then it goes up and it goes up. It's pretty good. I got the medium. Pretty good. Pretty good. One. Pretty good. It's only fun when you actually knock them over. When you don't, not that fun. The fun part is trying. No, the fun part's knocking them over. <laughs> so that's a spare. Not bad, not bad. I could try again for a little bit. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. Good, close out with a spare and uh, we're in our third game. We got, I think you got 50 minutes. It said 45, but we got 50. But that was my last turn, this is Sam's. Oh, uh, you got a strike for, he's gotten so many strikes. That's okay, it's okay. Do a good last one, close the game out, Sam. All in all, that was a fun hour. Now let's go refill our cups again and see what we can get into. Between the lazy river, dining, and bowling, here's a time lapse from our room. You can see the rainstorm. You can see day turning to night. Super cool view to see. We refilled our cups again. This time I just got water, but there's so many different beverages you can get and a few different places to refill mostly here. We're gonna go outside now. It's turned to evening, it looks really pretty out and just walk around. Whoa, whoa. Let's see what scope things out out here. Ooh, it's so nice. Beautiful night out, people at the pool. Look at the moon, it's so pretty. Well, that's cool. They've got gremlins on the screen over there. We'll get a little closer. You can see the volcano, the moon, really nice. Gremlins is like such a warm, cozy movie. And what other hotel are you gonna watch Gremlins in the pool besides at Universal, right? I love it. It's the only way to watch it. It's the only way. Lazy River looks so nice. I guess just because of like the rain and time, there's less like leaves in it and stuff now, and it's really pretty at night. Now that's a beautiful summer night, and that's why you can't let the weather reports here in Orlando deter you because it's probably gonna rain every day over the summer, but it probably isn't gonna rain all day, and then it'll turn into a beautiful evening like this. Let's check out the view in the evening. The volcano is so pretty, and you can see, yeah, the slingshot's going, the wheel at Icon Park's going,
Volcano Bay View can mean different things. You can be in the tower or you can be in one of these rooms that we're in, in the smaller buildings. But either way, it's really pretty day or night and we'll be visiting there soon. But for now, I'm gonna close this video out because we have a really early morning tomorrow. So we're just gonna like get up, get coffee in our refillable mugs and get moving like that. So to make things easier for all of us, I'm gonna close out right now. But I will say that Cabana Bay Beach Resort here at Universal is one of my favorite resort hotels here in Orlando. You know, it's not perfect, neither is any resort. And it's, you know, depending on what kind of room you get, some are more lavish, some are more like very, very simple, like the room we're in is very simple, but it has everything we need. The suites have refrigerator and microwave and all of that. We stayed in one last time, so if you wanna see that video, it's up on my channel. Also, in a recent video when I was at the Orlando Informer event, and we stayed at Aventura. I showed you the walk from Aventura over to City Walk and Universal, and it's the same walking path basically, so you can walk from Cabana Bay, and it's not bad, like 15, 20-ish minutes depending on how fast you walk. Or of course, you can take buses, they're very reliable, and they're every like 10, 15 minutes there are buses. Many different ways to get to the Universal Parks and City Walk, and you can walk to Volcano Bay from here. And like I mentioned earlier, it's really cool during Halloween Horror Nights, not just because of the special things they do, but because of the atmosphere, because of all the fellow HHN fans that you'll see here in their like Horror Nights outfits and dressed up for the event, coming and going. It's a really, really fun place to be during that time of year. And during the summer, this is the busiest I've seen it, and it's still really not that bad. We had dinner at six and there was a line, but like it did move quickly, but an hour later, no line. So if you can have dinner at like maybe five or seven or eight, you probably won't encounter any lines. But if you go at six, prime dinner time, might be some lines, but that's true of anywhere, especially in the height of summer. I'm really glad we got time in the lazy river before the rain started. I feel like that really separates Cabana Bay and sets it apart from other resorts. Every resort pool is different and some of them have different things to offer, but the lazy river is something cool and unique that you normally only find at a water park and just floating around in your tube in the lazy river is very, very nice. And the movies of the pool was really cool. Of course we had fun bowling at Galaxy Bowl, you know, it's more fun when you actually hit the pins, but in general we had fun and it's something different to do and it makes it feel like you're like at a resort, like a full blown beach resort with all these different activities. There's a Starbucks here, there's just so much. And in the lobby they have like characters, balloon animals, live music, different things rotating throughout the day. We just really like the vibe here. It's just really, really fun, good atmosphere and we'll definitely be back many, many times. One of my faves and one of the more affordable resort hotels here too in Orlando. So that also keeps it high on the list. So let me know please if you also like Cabana Bay, if you've stayed here, if you plan to stay here, and if not, what's your favorite Universal Resort Hotel? So I can try to stay there too. I've been, I've stayed at like four I think, maybe? Uh, definitely not all of them. There's definitely a few I haven't stayed at yet. So those resort tours will be coming soon and I hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you had a great time with us today. We have a lot of fun things coming up and some travels coming up soon. The ones that have been kind of like a follow-up to the March and April road trip. So if you haven't seen those, get caught up so that you're ready for what's coming up pretty soon. And with that, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you all a ton of love. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye. Good night.